it's Miranda and Natalie from Custom Crafts. And today we are going to have a little bit of a different project for you. Mm -hmm. It's going to be more like cooking with custom crops, what do you say? Well, a little less custom crops and a little more here's in a gift. the kitchen. Yeah, here's a gift that's economical and you're going to use some of the things we have, but you can use a lot of things that you have at home. In exactly. Your so you're going to save a lot of money with this project. Right. Well, we're going to make some body scrubs. So um, something that you can give as gifts to neighbors, beautician, somebody who swings by, girlfriends, teachers, anything that you like need to make over and over again and you have to give a lot of. And what's great about this is that we're going to, again, use a lot of the things that you probably have in your pantry. Some oil, some cocoa, some sugar, just real simple stuff. And then you just need a couple of things from us. And one of the things is these little making memories jars. They come in a package of four. This is the smaller size. We also have a much smaller size. It's kind of yeah, an upright. Yeah, this is medium and it's about okay. $9. $9 and for four. So you're talking about two twenty-five dollars roughly per jar. Good and price. then once you just put all the stuff inside, it's a great, great gift. It's probably under $5, don't you think? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Um, then you'll also need some of our new beautiful SEI paper. This is the beautiful. Juliet collection. And we use this paper on the mocha body scrub. This has a wintry feel to right. it. Right. It's just like more... cold and icy. Right. Um, so we use, and what's great about this paper is that it has foil and flocking and some really cool, cool things. Um, now the other collection that we're going to be using today is more holiday inspired, so more traditional, but same thing, foil, flocking, double-sided, so when and you're And I doing... love it because you have the foil and um, the shine on one mm -hmm. side and then more traditional um, on the other side. Yep. So we're going to be using this to make the tags. Yes, ma'am. And to make our tags, we're going to mm -hmm. be using a new cartridge called Very Merry Tags. Mm -hmm. This is a super, super cute Cricut cartridge. It's actually a mini cartridge. So you get a little bit less, but really not. You still get 50 shapes on no, here. No, well, it's basically like one background layer and one front layer. Exactly. So it's a, a little bit more simplified than some of the other cartridges. So it's definitely, I would say, great for beginners or advanced mm -hmm. users. Um, there are tons of different choices on here. You're going to get more traditional shapes or there's even some like actual candy cane or Christmas tree shapes to use as a tag. Super tags. cute cartridge. Well, and I could also see like because they have the little hole in the top, I mean, you could make a cute little garland ornament. with the tags. You can make ornaments. So this is not only limited again to what the cartridge, the Cricut cartridge is called. You have to use your creativity, and then you can make lots of cool stuff. Exactly. Let's get started. Okay. So we're gonna make the chocolate one first, and I am using a. Uh, this is for your body. Right. Okay. Right. So your body. So <laughs> you're gonna. Well, it's like you know, cause you get those dry winter months, and you're especially you around the here, oil. Yeah. But this gets really slippery in the shower. So we should tell you that if you're using it, just caution when you're in the shower, cause we don't want somebody to crack their noggin open. Okay. <laughs> So, um, I am using a recipe from Stacy at Park Avenue, and she has a blog. It's Park Avenue Dash Stacy with an IE dot blogspot dot com, and that's where you can find this recipe. So I'm not taking credit for the recipe. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you are going to start with either um, a half a cup of white sugar. Or you can use um, Epsom salt if you want to make a salt scrub. Um, or And you can also use this large, larger granule um, cane sugar. So, Miranda, you want to just put about a half a cup into your mixing bowl. Did I not get it open? Do you back? have a measuring cup? No, we're just going to eyeball oh, it. Oh, Here, okay. if you need to Oh, okay, good. Got it open. Half a cup? Ha about half a cup, yeah. Ooh, that smells good. Does girl. it smell good? Already, it smells good. Um, yeah, just eyeball. That looks good. And then we're real fancy here. We're going to be using plastic silverware <laughs> measurement, but you can use just this is a tablespoon. So you're going to have three. Put three tablespoons of cocoa in there, and this is just something that you can find in your baking aisle. Yeah. You're going to put. Now I am using cinnamon spice ground coffee. And that's because the um, recipe calls for cinnamon and nutmeg and I just some kind of like skipping that stuff because I'm using cinnamon coffee. So okay. 
three tablespoons of coffee grounds. Here, let me get this out of the way for you. So what we're doing is we're mixing the dry ingredients first, and then we're going to add the oil after that. Can we make cookies out of this too? <laughs> no. Um, it calls for a pinch of nutmeg, and you can use, well this has actually, um, pumpkin pie spice has cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, allspice, and some other stuff. But you can add this if you want to, or I don't know, you can, it probably gives it a nice little like cinnamon or, hmm, that smells good. Just like sprinkle some of that in there. That's good. Four. All right. Then we're going to add our oil. So um, what I used last year when I made this was sunflower oil. And the reason I use sunflower oil is because it's not very expensive and it doesn't have a smell at all. Um, the olive oil has a little bit of more of a smell to it. But you can use olive oil. Some people have even usually used cooking oil. So, um, but three to four tablespoons of this, Miranda. Okay. What would you prefer, three or four? <laughs> Just let me know. And you can. So like three and a half. Yeah. There we go. Well, and probably what you could do is like try it, like mix it up a little bit and see what the consistency yeah, is, yeah. like. And if you want to add more, then you can add more. And there's a spatula right there if you want to. Um, Here. You want more? Yeah, you're probably going to need a little, a little bit A little bit more. more? Okay. Just a little bit. I'm just going to okay. dump it right in there. Oh, okay. And you can use this if you want. Is that easier for you? Yeah. Now we need our jar. How's it looking? Yeah, that's, that's what you... It smells delish. That's all I know. Oh, yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just put it right in here. Now, we probably could make another... I was about to say. Like, like another like, full batch. Yeah. Yeah, because that's not going to be enough. to. F so let's do that. How so, long? Do you know how long this stays for? Or um, I gave it as a gift last year, and people are still using it. Oh, okay. So... Whoop! Oh, now Miranda, we had <laughs> trouble before making enough, and if you drop it on the craft mat, then sorry. Shoot, that's why I love these mats. <laughs> okay. All right, so our chocolate one is done and in the jar. Our second one, we're going to do. Now, if you're not wild about that chocolate smell, um, you can buy like a um, essential oil from like a. Whole Foods or a health food store, and then so you can make be it more earthy. Yeah, can you can make it your own scent, and then you can also color it if you want to. Like we're gonna make a green one today because we're gonna use some of the SEI new paper to decorate the jar, and then everything coordinates. Oh, cool. So for this one, um, let's use the salt. So half a cup of Epsom salt, and you can do the same thing. You can use sugar if you want. And this came actually from um, MarthaStewart.com. Let's do, because um, it took twice so, as yeah. much, so do That's a why cup. I put a little bit. I think that is about a cup. Really? How much is left? Just dump Might it Might as well there. do the yeah. rest, because it's almost It's all in there. Okay. Then, let's use the olive oil this time. And we want like a tablespoon of olive oil. So just dump a quick, just dump it in there. Um... Then the other thing about olive oil is it's like the only, one of the only natural oils that you can put on your face and it won't clog your pores. So. I did not know that. Yeah. So you can, if you want to, stir that around and see how you like the consistency and then you can add more oil if you need to. I think that we are going to need more. A little bit more. Put... Okay. Now you can also add this essential oil and make your own scented lotion. Last year I bought like Eucerin, which is a really good moisturizer, and it's unscented. And then I scented it com um, based on who I was giving it to. Girl, you're like Martha Stewart. I wish. So then we're just going to put like one drop of this essential oil, and this is like a rose, rose scented. So we'll just put a tiny bit in that little pipette, and then you're going to do one drop. Oh, that's right. You tell Miranda a drop, she puts in 10. <laughs> no, just kidding. Miranda's doing a great job. 